Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. So in this video I just want to talk about one film that maybe you don't know um, and it is the 1983 film which is Nate and Hayes. This also goes by the title Savage Islands. It stars Tommy Lee Jones, Michael O'Keefe and Jenny Seagrove and it was directed by Ferdinand Fairfax. Uh, this is an old-fashioned swashbuckler so lots of uh, pirate action in this. Um, now this film was uh, really given a limited release by Paramount Studios in 1983. I did see this at the cinema but it was as part of a double bill and I wasn't expecting to see it so it was there um, just as the second feature. I can't actually now remember what was the main feature that I went to see. But a few interesting things about this. This film was filmed uh, in Fiji and New Zealand. Um, it has some really great uh, locations and sets. Um, but a couple of interesting things. The film was directed by Ferdinand Fairfax. Now he was not the first choice of director for this film. That first choice was actually J. Lee Thompson. Uh, but J. Lee Thompson passed on this. Um, but Ferdinand Fairfax got the job because he had uh, been an assistant director to J. Lee Thompson years prior on the film The Chairman. Um, and uh, so he got the job but yeah Ferdinand Fairfax up until that point had really been working mostly on TV um, so yeah this was a, a main feature for him and in fact J Lee Thompson went on to do his own fun adventure movie uh, being the Richard Chamberlain version of King Solomon's Mines uh, and the script on this one so this is a film that came out in 1983. This was two years before the scriptwriter John Hughes hit the big time with The Breakfast Club. So yes, John Hughes wrote on the script uh, for this one, co-writing with David O'Dell. And David O'Dell uh, went on to write the scripts for films such as The Dark Crystal, uh, as well as The Muppet Show episodes. He-Man, Masters of the Universe, and Supergirl. So the film, like I say, it was given a bit of a, a, a limited release by Paramount Studios in 1983. And the reason for that was this was an old fashioned swashbuckler, um, but it had that kind of old time spirit of adventure that made it a little bit similar to the Indiana Jones films. So Raiders of the Lost Ark had already been out and Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom was about to come out uh, in the next few months. And the initial reactions to this film were that there were some possible similarities with the Indiana Jones type films. I mean, for sure, this film begins with a sort of um, an episode that involves Tommy Lee Jones's character um, trying to run away with some gold from a, a native village and being chased and having to hurdle over um, spikes and uh, obstacles that are in his way. Uh, so there's some similarities there. And there's also a rope bridge where they have a, a battle as well. So um, again, that brings to mind perhaps Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So it seems the studio weren't too um, willing to release, give this film a big release uh, because it might dent the box office success of Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So this one's got pretty much buried and I doubt many people have seen it. I mean, it is available on DVD. I obviously here have the Laserdisc. Um, but like I say, it is, uh, it's not a great script or anything, but it certainly has some old time, um, good fashion swashbuckling fun in it and lots of um, stunt work and lots of uh, set building. Um, so yeah, we do get to see plenty of sword fighting, plenty of jumping around, explosions, uh, battles with a gunboat. It's all fairly good natured fun. The villain in this film is played by Max Phipps and uh, he was uh, in the film Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior. Um, and like I say, the uh, heroine of this film uh, is played by Jenny Seagrove. Um, and this was an early success for her, well, not a success obviously, but an early film role for her. The same year she actually had a role in Bill Forsyth's Local Hero, but it was two years later in the uh, TV show A Woman of Substance that she really came to recognition. So yeah, early roles for Tommy Lee Jones, um, but yeah, he's, he's pretty good fun as a, a swashbuckling pirate in this. Now the characters of Nate and Hayes, her pirate and a missionary, they are based on real life 
characters, but this film obviously in no way resembles um, historical facts. It's just a very light-hearted, swashbuckling romp. Um, but yeah, like I say, no great story to it, but it is old-fashioned fun, um, and definitely if you like films such as uh, King Solomon's Mines or you know, Alan Quatermain or um, pirate adventure films, um, then you may get some enjoyment out of this one. So anyway, just some brief comments there on Nate and Hayes. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, here it is again, Nate and Hayes. There's Tommy Lee Jones there in the character role. Okay, that's it for now. So please do join me for some more videos. All the best to you. Bye-bye.